Uh, hey guys, Lucas D here. In this video I'm going to install a SSD hard drive to a Dell Inspiron 7720 laptop. Uh, this laptop I bought it in 2012. I've been using it um, for games sometimes um, if I'm like not in my office or not at home um, and it's still pretty good. It uses a GT uh, 650 um, video card and it's done me well but the hard drive on it is just too slow now it's taking at least five minutes now for me to load windows with all the junk I've got on there so I've decided I'm going to upgrade to a uh, 128 gigabyte SSD hard drive as they are pretty cheap now these days to buy um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, run it from um, from basically a fresh install of Windows on the SSD hard drive and I'm going to use the other hard drive I'm just going to preserve that and keep that in the spare bay port uh, for all the other files I've still got on there um, just so I can have a um, backup there for the files I need for my photos and videos and stuff like that so once the SSD drive is installed we're going to uh, boot up the uh, laptop now when it is turning on, if you just leave it and don't do anything, it will say operating system not found. Uh, that's why when you boot it up, you want to press F12 and you want to um, insert your Windows disk, uh, your Windows installation boot up disk, and then you want to run the boot from the CD drive. And then what that will do is that will install Windows, fresh copy of Windows on your primary hard drive and you will have a fresh Windows install on your computer and the second hard drive will be on there once your Windows is installed. Okay guys, so I've taken off these two screws here. Um, so I've taken off uh, the backing component, uh, this screw and uh, this screw and basically we pull the back off Okay, it should clip out, uh, depending on what gaming laptop you have. Um, and here you'll find the um, the old hard drive. Um, now this needs to be taken out. And what's going to happen is this is going to be taken out from here. And it's going to be moved over to the second bay that I've got here. So this will still have all my files and everything from my previous from my previous. Um, settings on there. It'll have all the files, so videos and photos and things like that and any games or whatever. I'll just keep that as my backup drive so I'll still have 500 gigabytes as a spare, dri spare drive there and um, I'm going to put my SSD drive in there. Okay, Okay, so we're going to remove the hard drive from the bay, the old hard drive. Okay, so we're going to take out these four screws here. Okay, that's one. Two. Three. And four. Okay. Okay. So it should just come out like that. It's there for keeping. Okay, I get the new the new hard drive. Okay. Fit that on. So we put it back on here again. All right, what tip I could do is just use the magnet on the screwdriver. Screw that back on like so. Because these screws are quite little, so it's good to just get the magnet on the uh, screwdriver first. It just makes things a bit easier than you insert it in this screw hole. Okay. 
Jawohl. Okay. So now we're going to put that back in here now. So I'm going to slide that in there like so. And slide that in. There we go. Put the screws back on. It's one. Two. Three. And four. Okay, done. Okay. Now we want to get this hard drive, the old hard drive, and put it in here. So I've got to take this off now. Um, you've got to take the four black screws off here. One, okay, two. Three and four. Okay, and then we're going to put that back, they're going to slide that in here. Okay, what that strap does is that strap will hold in the hard drive so it won't fall out. Now we can put our casing back on. There we go. Okay. And then we're ready to go.